this is a big moment for Stewie. Stewie Griffin, welcome to the Purple Room. Wow, look at that. This must be how the Tin Man felt when he finally got his heart. You know, it's kind of hitting me now that maybe I was thinking more metaphorically. Oh, no. You said you wanted a heart over and over again. You sang that whole song about it. And when Alexander saw the breadth of his domain, he wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer. Everybody's always getting an award. But well, you've never gotten an award. Uh, what's that bowl that says good boy? You know, that was our old dog's dish. You know, Brian, I gave some thought to what you said the other day, and I realized you're right. Moving to the Purple Room is not an achievement. Anyway, you got me thinking. I've spent my entire life in that ivory tower, learning from pop-up books and animal sound machines, instead of actually experiencing the world. That's why I got this. You're a baby. How'd you afford a car? You know how good I am at making a deal. So where exactly are we going, anyway? Brian, I think the road has a way of telling you where you're going. There. Why do we show our visitors how we sing what we see, y'all? Oh? Sing what we see. Sing what we see. Boy in a truck too young to drive. Sing what you see. Brian! Oh, uh, uh, car? Oh! Ah, come on. Let's just see what we see and keep it to ourselves. What are you doing? It's 18 and older, Brian. If I want to get in, I need to look the part. I've also been working on my banter, like in case somebody bumps into me. Oh, no worries, bro. I'm tired of living my life in a tiny little box like some sort of claustrophobic turtle. Ah! 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 Okay, Brian, the key to these things is to find a good position to sit on the ground. Yeah, cool. I got that blanket from your trunk. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is already hurting my hip. We could probably just stand. No, no, we got the blanket. Lean back on the palms until they get weird creases. Oh, no, all the way back. Oh, flat back, craning to look up. Terrible. Oh. Balls of feet butt hover like a Chinese guy. Oh, oh, all right. Standing it is. Yeah, just waiting for a big gust of wind, right? Yeah, good gust of wind. See a couple of fannies. Yeah, give them a little bare hand slap, a little cup. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Okay, Stewie. Yeah, I'll tell you who this Stewie is. This is day drinking Stewie. On the patrol for fannies. Fanny! Yeah! Betty! What are you looking at? Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, I don't know. Four different bands said we've been a great crowd, so you tell me. Yeah, I've had a pretty good day, too. People keep passing out and barfing, and that barf is, like, free to take. Awesome. Oh, oh here, here she, she comes, comes now. now. Hey, Stewie. Hey, Brian. Oh, crap. Wait, how can a music festival chick like two guys? Oh, okay, Brian, so we like the same girl. There's no reason we can't be gentlemen about this. Absolutely. Our friendship is more important than any one girl. Oh, no, he, he's kidding. I, I'm perfectly capable of taking a pill. <coughs> yep, down the hatch. Did you happen to read his tweet about jumbo shrimp? <laughs> Just a little heads up, Stewie still screams, what's happening when he gets an erection? Oh, this is nice, spending this time together. In fact, I was thinking maybe we could all have a three-way. A, a three-way? I'm in. Yeah, totally. Really? Cool, let's go. You take her left side, I'll take her right. What? Wait, how about top and bottom or front and back? How about I take head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes? You guys ready? Because <sighs> I am. Ah! What's happening? <gasps> what? We can't just leave her. She had nobody. No family, no friends. Really? How do you know all that? All that? You said you were in love with her. Did you not talk to her at all? Oh, I, I talked to her. You're a monster. You're even worse than Dr. Finkelstein. Everyone deserves a proper burial. Um, Cassandra, I'm sorry your life was so screwed up that you almost had a three-way with a dog and a baby. Also, I loaned you $40 for that Lumineers t-shirt, and you said you'd pay me back, so I'm gonna take your bra. Well, Brian, thanks for going on that little adventure with me, but I think I've learned quite enough from the real world for now. Well, I guess you're ready for the purple room after all, huh? Yes. In fact, today was my first day. Hey, Lois, can I please have another pancake? <laughs> well, what's so funny? I, I don't know. Dog-eating pancakes. It's funny. Okay, here's the field. Goodbye forever. <laughs> ah! May I 
dead! I'm injured! Please help me! I smell gas! Sweetie, I'll write you a check. No, 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 I got it, Lois. Let me just lick my thumb, because that's what people do before they write a check. Okay, now let me tilt my glasses down and ask the date. Lois, why don't my checks have any writing on them? Well, Peter... What? That's just a wide pad of post-its I gave you. What the hell, Lois? Why don't I have a real checkbook? Peter, where do checks come from? Uh, when a mommy and daddy love each other? That's why. Lois, I want my own checkbook, and I want it now! Hi, what can I do for you? Yes, I was wondering, where is the room where I can roll around nude with my money? My husband wants to open a checking account. Okay, Justin Peter Griffin. It's actually just Peter Griffin. So this is not your birth certificate? Justin Griffin. Huh, I like the sound of that. Peter, it doesn't change a thing. You're still the exact same person. I beg to differ. Hey, Lois, you see my hiking boots? I need them later for park soccer. Peter, why the hell do you look like that? Uh, my name isn't Peter. My name is Justin. I'm living a Justin lifestyle. Since I'm your cool father, Justin, we should bond with skin-to-skin -skin contact. How about Justin takes his shirt off and we can get some photos of you on Justin's belly? Jeez, this Justin phase of dad's is kind of weird. Uh, not as weird as his karaoke phase. Dad, what are you doing in here? Oh, hey, Chris. I just figured now that I'm Justin, I should start a sweet news wall for stuff I think is totally sweet. It's just a picture of a vest. Pretty sweet. Palm trees are very sweet, because, like, the beach. This is my room, Dad. The band Guster is the sweetest band of all time. Oh, hey, Mama. Hey, you see my copy of Into the Wild? I like to have it on my person at all times in case I need a quick inspo sesh. You ever get in the pocket of a wave? Peter, you know I haven't. And I know for a fact that you haven't either. In the pocket. Some gnarlies out there. Some nanas. Keep it cool, Lois. K-E-W-L. Hey, Justin, I wanted to introduce you to Kira. She's the one who brought four loose Sierra Nevadas. Kira, you totally rock for bringing those. Peter, what the hell is going on? All right, everyone out of here. I've had enough of this Justin nonsense. Tomorrow we're going to City Hall to legally change your name back to Peter. Brain tumor? How is that possible? So, Doc, um, how much Jamba Juice do I have to drink to cure this? Um, I I've also heard that, like, crystals exist. Well, I haven't heard of brains being linked to behavior, but I suppose anything is possible. Dr. Hartman, what's the prognosis? Well, it says here, Brian's tumor is for office use only. Ah, uh, benign. It says benign. Well, since Brian's tumor poses no immediate threat, we can schedule surgery to remove it, and he'll be back to his old self in no time. So if Brian doesn't have the surgery, will he be all right? I don't know. Is Dax Shepard all right? Well, it seems kind of gratuitous. My point is, Brian could have the surgery and be smart again, or he could skip the surgery and stay dumb like this. Right, you're not thinking clearly. All right, you've got to agree to this surgery. Because right now, you're as useless as Black Widow is to the Avengers. So, what's your superpower? Kicking. <laughs> Hey, this isn't the Kenny Chesney concert. No, I'm afraid that was a white lie to get you here, Brian. I'm sitting on my foot to hold in a dump. Please don't embarrass me here. Hey, this isn't the Kenny Chesney concert. Uh, no, Brian, this is called yoga. Lots of smart people do it instead of going to church. And after we get done with this, you're going to talk a lot about being present and grounded. <laughs> Okay, before you say anything, no, this is not the Kenny Chesney concert. We're here to have a nice, civilized dinner and to show you that you don't have to eat all your meals in your car. Ugh, I can't change you back. This whole endeavor was doomed to fail, like an Asian guy going to a salon. I, I want to have my anus breached. He's gone, Rupert. It appears I've lost Brian to the dumb side. So now, I need you to be Brian. Here's your collar, and here's a laptop. Write something bad. Hey, what's this? Gaylord practice? That's the eighth time you've asked me that today. Listen, Brian, I've been trying to change you, but I realize that if you're happy, 
I need to accept the you that you want to be. Okay, well, I'm going to go put on my python and walk to the park. Brian, wait. I'm, I'm trying to say that I accept your choice to forego surgery. I release you into the thick mire of stupidity. Good Lord! If I don't do something, his stupidity will kill him. And then I'd lose Brian forever. Like that dog the Russians shot into space. I've got to convince him to get that tumor removed before it's too late. Now remember, it's England, so take long, deep breaths. Hey, Brian, you want to go see Dr. Hartman and get that procedure where you get two wieners? Whoa, hell yeah! Well, good news, Griffins. Brian is going to be just fine. I was able to remove his tumor. And if anyone wants to keep it, it's here in this Tupperware. Oh, Brian, I'm so glad you're all right. Thanks. But uh, this is all kind of surreal. I missed you, buddy. Welcome back. Thanks, Stewie. You never gave up on me. You knew that wasn't really me. Yeah, well, it's no big... Hey, Lois, guess what? I had them do that two-wiener operation on me. You what? Double trouble! Uh-oh. That was the original.